Hi, my name is Gagan. I'm a CSSP and a CCSP certified. I'm just sharing here what is the strategy that I used to pass the CSSP exam and with the preparation of just two, two and a half months. So the first thing I would highly recommend is that you book your exam early and set a target date. I don't think you should be spending like six months or a year preparing for the CSSP exam. That's too much time for a certification. So book your exam early and then start preparing. I think, again, you can make your own personal assessment of where you are with the understanding of the cybersecurity concepts. But I think two months, three months is good enough for preparing for the CSSP. We've got other things happening in our life, isn't it? We've got family, we've got job. We need to relax as well. So don't, I certainly won't recommend that you say, I'm going to prepare for CSSP for the next six months or one year. That's too big a target. Yeah, so book the exam early and set a target date. The next one is to start your serious preparation from the day one. Now, what is your day one might be different. My day one was when I decided that I am going to go for the boot camp. It was a virtual remote weekends only. I, th I think it was over a month long boot camp over the weekends and four hours over the weekend. But before I signed up for the, the, the training program, the virtual remote training, I said, you know what, I'm starting from that day when I booked the training. So that was my day one. So if you could think, I had already booked the exam before I booked the training. And the day I started the training, or the day I actually booked the training, I was seriously looking at the SSP content and preparing for it. Don't do it half-hearted. If you know you want to, you, you have signed up for any training, if you think you are in need for that, it's absolutely fine. But once you start, keep, stay focused, keep on it, like understanding the concepts. And that's what I did. And I think that really helped me. One of the most important thing for you to understand about CSSB is actually understanding the concepts. Memorization is not going to help you. It is not that kind of an assessment. Yes, in your content, when you study for CSSP, you are going to come across various terms. You need to understand what the abbreviations are, what does those terms mean. But when you're reading about anything, just take time to understand the concepts. In the present world of AI, you can go to any AI. And once you've understood the concept, that's where you need to just make sure that you can see the overall picture and link multiple concepts together. If you are going into the CISSVP exam and thinking you're going to memorize things, yes, there might be a few things that you will have to memorize steps, but overall CSSP is about thinking like a manager, isn't it? So you need to understand the concepts. Don't just memorize. It is not just not going to help you. And if you think you memorized a lot of steps and everything and not understood the concepts, you're probably not prepared for the CSSP exam. Again, this is my personal assessment. Do not memorize things, just understand the concepts. Personally, I find creating mind maps really helpful. And I use mind maps actively for, for my day-to-day -day job as well. Mind maps are brilliant. And I would highly recommend if you haven't tried it, try using mind maps for preparation of the CSSP. So you can use one of the tools I use, Myro tool for creating the mind maps. But instead of looking for mind maps on the web or whatever the others have done. If you start creating mind map from scratch, you would have a better understanding of what the topic is and you can design your mind map the way it is convenient for you. So don't, I personally don't go for very complicated mind maps. I go for level one and level two information in there. And then if there is further level down, level three information required, then I'll probably create a, a secondary mind map, which will then link to the first mind map. And they're really good. We can go into the presentation mode and just go through when you're taking a break, just go through the presentation mode of the mind maps and then go through the concept that really helps. So again, it is really, really recommended that you do your own mind maps because once you start creating on your own, you will absorb information much more easily. Yeah. CSS obviously has got multiple domains. My recommendation would be that you, once you start studying, the domains that are required for you to understand identify your weakest domain early on for me it was networking and communication so that was my weakest domain 
and for every time I started, I, I made sure that I'm tackling and spending most of my time understanding the networking concepts. What you can do is, so multiple domains, your weakest domain, you focus on it on an every day. Yeah, it has to be every day anyways. You focus on it every day and other domains you have a plan to make sure that you cover one domain in a two weeks period or three weeks period. But if you identified your weakest domain, find as many as practice questions you can. Try to understand the concepts. Again, don't go super technical on, on any of the domains. You don't have to know how you're going to do things to answer CSSP questions. It's about strategy, it's about the mindset. But do focus on the technical concepts. So focus on your weakest domain early on so that you have enough time before you actually sit for the CSSP certification. For CSSP, you have to understand fundamentals. There is no getting away from that. If you are just jumping onto a topic which is not a fundamental without understanding the fundamentals of that domain, you are just going to be struggling. You will try to memorize concepts. You will try to maybe think that you have understood it. But when a question comes in the CSSP exam, if your fundamentals are not clear, then you probably are not going to be able to answer the questions, the answer the correct questions. Uh, give a correct answer to the question. So make sure that you focus on understanding the fundamentals. Take time to understand fundamentals. You can go to YouTube AI tools and understand them as thoroughly as you can, but stay focused on that. Don't go much advanced. Don't go much deep also, and don't go into advanced topics as well. Yeah, you need to understand enough to be able to comprehend what the question is asking. Yeah. Now the CSSP exam experience, I'll, I'll certainly say that the exam was challenging. It is certainly not one of your other tech certifications or a management certification exam. The, the questions, they are draining. I'm just certainly a draining experience for me. I was exhausted by the time I came out of the exam center. So do not underestimate the complexity and the challenges that are going to be put through in the CSSP exam. Acknowledge it and stay focused and be thorough with your preparation. I'm not saying it is impossible. It is certainly possible, but do not walk into that CSSP exam saying, oh yeah, you know what? I think I understand everything and I'll be fine. The exam is challenging. It is meant to be challenging. And I think it's a good thing to, to, to have that attitude that it is challenging and I take up the challenge. So go into that when you are going into the CSSP actual exam. In the exam, when you get a question, make sure that you are reading that question carefully. And I, I what I did, did was I would read the question slowly once so, so that I'm not missing any keywords. Then I'll read again the question and this time I'll be very thoughtful. So first is just a clear understanding, then a thoughtful. So then you look at options and think what has to be done. Do not rush. You have enough time for the CSSP exam. Do not rush through the questions. If you are on a question, just stay focused on that. Try to answer that question. Do not think about you know the response that you gave for the last question or have an anxiety about what might be the next question. Just focus on reading one question carefully, read it twice and do not rush. Trust me, you'll be all right. All of us probably know that CSSP has an adaptive nature. So it's like really important that you do what, if you answer the question right now, the, the one that you're doing now and pay attention to it and answer it correctly, hopefully the next question is going to be in line with what you have responded. So it, it is going to test your knowledge, correct? In, in a specific domain. So do not, again, I, I think this is the holistic thing. If and this is common in our life and in CSS speaks on focus on the present So focus on the present question. Do not worry about the next question. And if you do it right now, if you think you have all got the correct answer, then that's a really good thing. And, and then your correct answer now will take care of the next question, the difficulty level. So overall, I quite enjoyed the, I think enjoy it probably is a too, too good a word. It was a nice experience to go through the CSSP exam it's, an, it's certainly adaptive but you don't have to 
get too much worried about it just focus on the current question that you're answering yeah then one general approach that that applies to no matter how complicated how simple how advanced the question might be you have to consider people as the most important asset so if a question has any way giving you an option where it gives you an option that you prioritize people then that's a correct answer i'm not saying jump straight to where the answer is people but read the question think like a manager and you will probably find that the correct answer is about prioritizing people as your most important asset we go in with a lot of preparation for cssp exam and i think you don't have to be overconfident nobody can be overconfident about the cssp exam but be there with a confidence level that you have prepared you understood the concepts and when you say you've given a question you have four options and you've decided that your option is your answer is option c go with it feel confident about it you you studied hard or you you're going to study hard for the cssp exam be decisive about it don't worry about it once you think based on your assessment based on your knowledge based on your study if you think that's the answer then stick with it just be decisive and just that's it answer it go to the next question so be confident and decisive about your responses we briefly discuss about the adaptive nature in the exam you can probably see that that the way you are answering questions your questions are the next question that you're coming are slightly linked to how the questions that have been asked previously so the difficult not talking about difficulty level i'm not talking about the topics here so focus on each question on its own but remember that overall it will affect your subsequent questions it's like somebody says hey is you know, is one thing you need to focus on and that's truly that is what's going to help you there stay with that question do not think about anything else and all the information that you need to answer correctly is going to be in that question there's nothing you need to assume there's nothing you need to think extra you don't have to start considering oh, what if this and that everything that you need to answer correctly is going to be in that question so each question matters do not rush and you are building more confidence and ho hopefully you will be able to get into a rhythm after first 20 30 minutes of doing the questions for each question yes you have to do thinking and i i personally classify it as a deep thinking you really have to think about it it's a cssp exam it is a very expensive exam very expensive certification so do think about it but remember that clock is ticking it's a very fine balance you will get into rhythm after doing few questions do not get carried away with the question or do not get carried away by thinking too much about a question read it objectively assess it be confident and select your answer because the clock is ticking just to let you know i did my cssp and i took a month break from studying uh, but after that i sat for ccsp and so within like 4 months i had both cssp and the ccsp certification so that was the my notes on the cssp preparation strategy and my exam experience all the best for your cssp exam i'm sure you're going to do well if you need to get in touch with me i'm contactable on linkedin and uh, all the best